Hello, hello, and today we are looking at I'm Done by the Suicide Boys. Um, quite a few things in this project, as you can see by the amount I've highlighted, so we'll listen to it first, and then I'll talk you through each of the bits. I like this beat. The intro is an old outcast song. It's pretty stretched out. That's pretty much it. Just gives it the sort of rhythm of the song. And then we just add some filtering up here and that is pretty much it the song is over the woods 1996 so it is pretty old an interesting choice of sample and way to manipulate the sample usually this um time stretched um sound is not something you hear anymore because stretching algorithms are obviously a lot better now but if you do really really stretch it that's what you get then we've got some piano It's just one of those typical, cheapy sounding <laughs> pianos that you'd find on an old Casio keyboard. Um, this is just a sampler here. You can't even edit the sampler. You can edit the pitch, change the preset, and a couple of little things here, but that's it. There's nothing else you can do. And that's why you get that typical piano sound. Then the piano sound goes into... A vocal sample, which... This one here. Don't even think I did any processing to this. Oh no, I did. I did. Here we go. Just filtering. Just add some filtering. Sometimes you just want to have the audio on the sort of sequencer like this so you can easily stretch it to what you want. Whereas if it's in a sampler, kind of like on the right here where this uh, 808 is, it's a bit more difficult, but you, it's sometimes necessary for what you need it to do. Oh, uh, this is the MIDI. I'll show you the MIDI, just bring that over. We've got these top notes. Nothing uh, too complicated about that. B flat minor, I think. B flat minor, yeah, probably. I'm not gonna bother working out properly. I think it's B flat minor. And then to end the section off, we have this reverse crash. So without the effects, literally just the crash symbol that I reversed. Right click reverse. Makes it look like that, which kind of gives it that upwards movement with the volume, and then you apply a tape stop effect to it. And that's how you get that effect used in the song. More of a darker piano here. I think this is a, yep, this is a radical piano patch that I made. Um, it's very subdued in character. 
with this knob up here. Then we added some OTT and then some reverb. Oh. Some reverb on the right. Give it some character with that. And then even more reverb. Super, super dark. Vocals. Yeah, it's that same preset as before with the other vocals. Just sort of a uh, bandpass type filter thing here. There you go. Just the solo the vocals. Instead of extracting the vocals, you just kind of do this thing. Keeps it kind of sounding dirty and raw, you know? And then we swap out one vocal sample for the other. third piano at the end which is basically a more bright version of the one that we just heard all I did was turn up the character knob that's it some drums here's the MIDI for the drums if you're interested just look through that quickly Another crash, hi hat, and a snare. And then we finish it all together with a really low 808 with a bit of pitch bending. It's got a really hard um, transient to it, so I had to tame it a bit. Otherwise, it sounds like that. Even that's still pretty hard, but it does go well with the drums. That's pretty much it. Um, I'll just talk you through this the master chain quickly. We've got OTT. Oops. We've got some OTT, 37%. You can hear that makes a big difference. Blue compression. Just very slight compression there. Uh, we have some soothe and a limiter. Uh, arrangement wise, I find that having the sub 808 and when the snare comes in gives it a lot of dynamics gives it time to breathe you know you need these gaps in between the 808s yeah it's like its own little breakdown it's really cool um anyway that is that project so if you like this kind of thing then leave a comment and suggest what songs you want to hear and I'll get around to it. So thanks.